Um, okay, I'm recording. All right. Um, uh, you're not going to get speech with your blanket on your back, are you? Never. Uh, do you want me to do this? Do, do you want Monica to do it? Uh, uh, the, uh, Monica was doing great. So, David, um, thank you. And we'll keep you in the backup, okay? Okay. All right. Um, cool. Cool. All right. Let's let's see. Okay. Awesome. So, Lauren, um, when you're ready. All right. Here we go. Um, do you guys remember Blockbuster and how it was like everyone's favorite place? Um, well, Monica has been like a movie guru her whole life. And she's always had a thing for like Halloween movies and all like the scary stuff. And she decided that at 18, she was going to work at her first Blockbuster, um, which I also think is just kind of cool because, like I said, it's everyone's favorite place. So um, she mentioned how it was a good job. She likes it, but um, the customers made it a little difficult. As everybody knows, people can be a little rude anywhere you go. Um, she's always favored Halloween themed movies. And, you know, that's another thing we have in common. Um, this movie... Loving had her collect Funko Pops. Um, it's one of her collectibles. It's important to have a hobby or specific things to be interested to keep you occupied. Um, luckily for Monica, her hobby led for her to work in the television. One minute. Um, which she very much enjoyed for quite some time. Um, and at one point she actually was considering possibly becoming an actress. Um, however, like over time she saw herself maybe needing you know, well, actually, no, she saw herself to be a little more on the shy side. So she stared away for the idea after a while. Um, but like later on, she lost interest in the television lifestyle and she continued to go back to school, which is great because once the pandemic hit, she felt like she should help out more in society. And it's a great thing for her and her future. Um, the television industry gave Monica a lot of travel experience. She's been to a ton of places. Um, and she's brought to Paris um, a camera roll that looks like a film, if anyone remembers it from last time. Um, and she definitely just has a lot more memories than that one place. Um, she also is fluent in Spanish, so that definitely Two minutes. helped her get through when she went to travel places. Um, she has tons of memories to hold on to. So my question for everyone here is, have you ever traveled to how many places? How much do we have in common? And I think hey. that's it. Pop it up for Lauren. Thank you. Now I can go back under my blanket. Okay. Um... Let's see where are we. What was the time at? Two something. Two eighteen. Oh, um, Two eighteen. Okay. 